Uh, obviously, it being a minute, uh, we know kind of health issues kind of flared up back up and stuff. Just tell us how you're feeling coming into here and I guess how uh, it was the right call probably for you to not go through with the last one. Yeah, um, I'm feeling great. You know, um, had some health issues, you know what I mean? I, and I sure I shorted it up. Uh, I feel great right now. Like, uh, this is the best I've felt in, in years. You know what I mean? Ever since that sepsis uh, thing happened, uh, I've been just dealing with, like, ups and downs. I feel great uh, one month and the next month I just, like uh, – you know what I mean crash, but uh, right now I feel I feel like the best I've felt in a, in a long time. What do you think led to that? Did you find like a different treatment? Did you do something specific that you weren't doing before that allowed this? Yeah, I mean, just uh, I just got back. I, I'm uh, like after sepsis, I, I started. Uh, you know what I mean? I thought I could just do things a certain way. I had to uh, really just dial in and uh, focus on like the the little things, the little details, like my diet, uh, my sleep. Uh, you know what I mean? I used to not take supplements, you know what I mean? I've been taking supplements now, so uh, yeah, I mean, I've just been doing everything the right way instead of just doing how I used to do it. And when you got the call for this, were you kind of just still like lingering with that, being like, I'll just wait till they give me a call, or were you like, I'll be ready in February, everything's good to go, I don't care yeah. who it is? Yeah, like, uh, you know what I mean? I, I, before I got the call for this fight, I was already getting ready because I knew I was going to try to get a fight during this first quarter of this year, you know what I mean? I've been... I've been at it since like uh, you know what I mean uh, October or when it, I don't know, but I've been at it since last year. You know what I mean? I'm ready to go. Yeah, and to get this fight with Ian back um, was that just like an easier motivation? You know, knowing that you're supposed to fight in August and that's still the fight you ultimately got. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, just, it's motivation no matter what. You know what I mean? Uh, Ian Gary aside, you know what I mean? This fight's not about Ian Gary. This fight's about me. You know what I mean? I want to I, I, I want to win. I want to be a champ, and uh, he's just in the way. You know what I mean? He's just another body. Yeah, how do you kind of compare him to the past opponents? I mean, you fought the, the undefeated up-and-coming guy, you know, not long ago in Shavkat. What do you see in, like, Ian compared to some of these elite welterweights you've already faced? Yeah, he, he's, a, he's a solid fighter, you know what I mean? Uh, he's in the top 10 for a reason. He's number 10, right? I believe so. I'm not tripping. Yeah, he's in, he's in the top 10 for a reason, so uh, I'm going to treat him as such. And uh, he has a different style than uh, a lot of the other dudes, but uh, I'm, I'm prepared and I'm ready for it. Yeah, where are you kind of mentally, emotionally towards him at this point? You know, we know everything that happened, but, like, do you bring that any, into fight week at all or fight night at all? I'm, uh, during fight week, I'm cold. I don't, I don't have any emotion right now. I'm just uh, I'm going to hop in, I'm gonna hop in case and uh, do what I do. Yeah. Um, what do you make of his striking? It's good, you know. <laughs> we have a lot of fighters in the UFC got good striking. Yeah. Yeah, he was in here before, and he, you know, actually gave you some good credit as far as your skills and stuff. He just said, I just hope he makes weight, and if not, I'm going to sit in the sauna with him until he does. <laughs> hey, shit, I hope I make weight, too. Honestly, no, I'm, I'm good on weight. This is, uh, I've, uh, I'm, I'm on weight. I'm, I'm sitting at a good weight right now, and uh, this weight could should be easy. Yeah, and so you kind of feel like this is your run, right? The start of, like, where everything's in place, and this is kind of when you make that run to the top? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, what do you think the path looks like after this for the rest of the year? Oh, uh, shoot, man. I don't, I don't usually, like, think too far ahead, but, uh, you know what I mean, uh, realistically, you know what I mean, I win this fight in spectacular fashion, uh, one or two more fights, you know what I mean, than the belt. You know what I mean, I probably can knock that out by the end of the year. Scott, thank you. No problem. Jeff over here. So I want to ask you about this matchmaking. Do you kind of see this as, like, maybe the promotion using you as a stepping stone for Ian Gary and maybe him going up to the title shot one day, or do you see it, like, do you see it as, like, okay, if, if Ian's legit, he has to get through Jeff Neal? I mean, it's, it can go either way. You know what I mean? Uh, this, might, this is good for me, too. I, I knock him out, and then uh, I, I'm going to get some shine. You know what I mean? So uh, it goes both ways. You know what I mean? Winner gets the belt. For sure. And I know you just said you don't like to look too far ahead, but before you call it one day, whenever you do call it a, a career, what are your goals in this sport? Um, to be a champ, man. Uh, that's, that, that's the main goal whenever, since the day I started and walked into the MMA gym with my coach, uh, the goal was to be a UFC champ, you know what I mean? I'm already, like, and I'm here. I can smell it, you know what I mean? I can taste it. So uh, that's the goal. And obviously there's a big chance that Leon versus Bilal actually does happen. I know you were, you were vocal in saying that Bilal deserves a shot over any other guy. So how do you see that fight going if it does come into fruition? Uh, I don't know. You know what I mean? I, I'm a... Don't ever ask me for uh, advice, like, especially if you're going to bet, because I'm always wrong. So uh, I don't know how it's going to go, you know. So uh, I hope Bilal wins so I can get that rematch with him. I think it will, it will be like if I get up there and uh, fight for the belt, you know what I mean? It's me and him. It will uh, it'll bring in some numbers, you know, since we fought already. Awesome. Yeah, Thank you. No problem. Jeff, over here. Yes, sir. What, uh, 
What makes you walk out to sleep, Token? Man, I love that band, yo. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a rocker at heart, you know, uh, metal fan. But uh, just uh, one day, I just like that song came up on my uh, my Spotify, and uh, I just I just been in love with it ever since. I actually went to one of their concerts recently over in uh, Dallas. They showed me a lot of love. I got to see their actual face. <laughs> uh, don't don't tell anybody. Though. Yeah, I was playing. I ain't gonna tell anybody. Well, I already told everybody, but. <laughs> <laughs> And um, if you are to get the victory on Saturday, would you ever consider making a T-shirt with your hand raised beside Ian Gary? Nah, man, I'm not that petty. I'm just, uh, that's low, that's low level shit. Thank you. No problem. Jeff, over here, this fight was actually originally announced for a month later. So I'm just curious, with the change in schedule, how did that affect your preparation? Uh, it, I think it was miscommunication because whenever I got a, I knew about the fight, you know what I mean? Usually the fighters know about the fights before it gets uh, put out there. Uh, <clears throat> whenever I got uh, news about the fight, it was always going to be on this date at this location. And then uh, Dana got on uh, TV and said it, it was going to be uh, uh, like, what, a month later, you said? I was surprised by that. I was like, whoa, you know what I mean? But uh, it was always supposed to be this date. I've been preparing for this date since I got word, for, word of the fight. Actually, I got one more. Is there a chance that we see the Power Ranger outfit at the press conference? Nah, man, I left it at home. I, left it. <laughs> I thought about it, though. I'm going to wear a suit. <laughs> yeah, just want a prediction for the main event between Volkanovski and mm -hmm. Taporia. Uh, I got Volk, man. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm Team Volk. Been riding with him for a long time. Uh, I, say, I, I think it's going to be UD, unanimous, unanimous uh, decision. I actually have one more as well. The UFC announced a new signing in the welterweight division, Michael Venom Page. So I just yeah. want to get your thoughts on that signing. And do you think that's a guy that will break into the rankings and cause some action up in the ring? I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it translates. Like, uh, looking at him, man, I'm, I'm a fan of him, you know. But uh, now he's, now he's going to be one of my opponents. Like, and he's not going to be. But uh, I look at him different now. But uh, we'll see how he does against Kevin Holland and uh, – I don't know how his style is going to translate against another long, rangy dude. So uh, we'll see how that goes.